morning and welcome to Budapest. <laughs> Can you see the sun on my face? Yeah. How good. So that's number one. Number two, this coffee was only, how much? Five euro for two, so like seven dollars for two, which is probably the price that we've been paying for one on this whole trip. So we're on a bit of a high that we're potentially not gonna go over budget here because we've been over budget every single place so far. Hungary, country number nine, I think, actually. Yeah, Budapest has been mad so far since we've been here. I love the look of it. It's got like a bit of a Paris vibe with the buildings. We got an overnight bus here last night from Venice in Italy. 10 hours, 11 hours on the bus. Sunny had a good sleep. I was wide awake, but it was a good idea. I slept the whole time. I think I woke up once because my neck was a bit sore, but then I just readjusted and went straight back to sleep. It's such a good idea because really, you don't have to pay for accommodation. You just got to pay for the transport. You just get on there and you go to sleep and you wake up and you're in a new country. So recommend that. Anyway, we're going to check out the city. I've devised the whole itinerary for Budapest. Keen to get into it. But Jai said no, so now I'm having to Google facts about things. So I don't know if this is correct or not. But it was built, it took 17 years to build. Um, it was built in the late 1800s going into the 1900s. And it was a mixture of all different architecture because you can see at the top of like Gothic. It. it literally looked like a castle. And it's so pretty here. There's like gardens. And it's really nice to walk around. It's really pretty. tonight so it actually works out perfectly we're going to a ruin bar which are bars that are made in buildings that were bombed and after Budapest we're taking an overnight bus again to Salzburg in Austria which is where the sound of music is made and that's why we want to go I'm so excited
and close. We are in Budapest and we are doing what we do best and we are going on a walking tour. We are in the Jewish quarter of Budapest and we're doing a World War II walking tour. We checked out of our accommodation this morning because we're doing an overnight bus to Austria today. It's actually a really cool area. We're staying in the Jewish quarter which is a bit further out from like the main area of Budapest. We did a big day yesterday walking through Budapest like up on the river and today we're staying in the Jewish quarter but it is funky. There's like cool cafes and restaurants and little side streets with like food carts and it was the area where we had our dinner last night and where the ruin bar was which was really cool as well. All around Budapest they have these things called ruin bars. What they are is they're old buildings, derelict buildings, so abandoned buildings that people go in and take them over and turn them into bars and pubs and nightclubs and everything like that. Some of them have been bombed in World War II and then they were just left as ruined buildings that were bombed. And we went to one last night, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it in here. Um, and it was awesome. It's the best one in Budapest apparently. So that's it. All around Budapest there's all that cool sort of stuff. Overall, we've really loved it here. I think it's kind of pushing as my favourite city that we've been to. So I've loved it in Budapest. If you're coming to Europe, it's pretty cheap in that as well over here, Eastern Europe. So it's a bit of a cheaper vibe. So definitely come to Budapest. It's a spot not to miss. for some non-very, not very Hungarian traditional food. We've got Mexican, but we did go to a Hungarian restaurant for lunch today. It was very cute and authentic, it, um, wasn't it? It was really cute. Mm, Give us a rating. This? Yeah. Um, okay. I like how the burrito is actually wrapped up and not falling apart. Yeah. That's definitely a plus. Out of 10. Six. But maybe an extra, maybe a seven, because it's wrapped nicely. We're trying a traditional Hungarian food. It is called a langos. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. This is fried bread. I've got a plain one. Jai's got sour cream with cheese. Mmm. Well, I do love bread. So I'm going to give that a nine out of ten. Wow. I kind of wish I had some flavour on it, but that was my fault because I chose a plain one. So that's why it's getting a nine. But it's good. Oh, it's yum. Okay, second food to try is called a... I think it's called a cone cake. That's not the actual word though. It's a word I cannot pronounce, so I'm not going to try. But I just read it online that it's controversial where it originates from. It's either here, Slovenia, or... What was the other one? Some Romania, I think. Anyway, we got the uh, Nutella one, so it's Nutella all in the middle and cinnamon on the outside. And they were really big, but we've got a little small one. Okay, I already know this is gonna be 10 out of 10. <laughs> I can already say. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get 9 out of 5. 9 out of 5? 9.5 out of 10. Because it's cold. If it was warm, it'd be 10 out of 10. But it tastes good. Just the little things, you know. We are back. We are in Salzburg, Austria. Rain jacket's back, the beanie's back. We're at the moment in the heart of the old town, Salzburg. Bad boy. 